Now, Central Oregon's local alert weather with Chief Meteorologist John Carroll. It was a chilly day today, all due mainly to the cloud cover and the cold air coming down from the north and east, and of course that rain shower activity as well. Here is a look at the Mount Bachelor area. You could see the mist on top of the mountain, and uh, light rain was falling. Uh, there weren't a lot of high accumulations of the rain. I showed you those earlier. Uh, most were about a, a tenth of an inch or less, but we still got some much needed rain, and we're still going to be seeing a little bit more due to this area of low pressure. Now, as you can see, this is beneficial rain as the low lingers to the east of us. But uh, what happens with the areas of low pressure? Uh, the air rotates around counterclockwise, and you can see this kind of winding around uh, the moisture. And we are on the western periphery of this, or the western edge uh, of this low. And yeah, you can see the rain coming in, uh, arcing in through portions of Jefferson County as we speak. Zooming in a little, little bit close, you can see just there around Warm Springs and up into the reservation and then back down in through portions of the Cascades. And it's relatively dry right now in through the 97 corridor, but we did get about a quarter of an inch of rain at the airport in Bend. And we also did get some snow, high elevation snow, about two inches there near uh, John Day. And it, it's not probably going to be lingering much longer. It may have already melted because the ground uh, is warm, so it didn't really have a chance to accumulate, but I just thought I'd mention that for you. Uh, here's what's going on in the future. Now, this rain is not going to stick around that much longer. Uh, we see the low kind of dropping down to the southeast by uh, 8 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. There's not much moisture left to tap into, so as that low exits, I just had it indicated there by that circle, uh, we are looking at clearing conditions on Friday as the low moves off to the east. We are going to see an increase in cloud cover overnight Friday into Saturday, and there is a chance for some rain to approach late in the day uh, in our, our western counties of Oregon, but they'll have a tough time getting over top of the mountains as they often do, uh, but I do still think it's going to be a mostly cloudy day on Saturday. Rain's tapering off officially tonight with a chilly night ahead, mild and dry conditions on Friday before we get more wet weather by late Saturday into Sunday. Winds are basically calm. Future cast winds are really not all that impressive either, but they are going to be noticeable coming generally from the north, but also then changing and coming up from the south and west, but uh, they should be around 5 to 10 miles an hour as far as the gusts are concerned. So let's look at those numbers for the day today. Normally the high today should be around 73, 74 degrees in Bend. We got the 50 today, so it was much cooler than it should be. Right now, it's in the 40s and 50s, still hanging on to that 60 in Warm Springs. Lows tonight are going to be cold. We got 20s in Sun River and Lapine, 36 in Bend. And uh, we are looking at a freeze warning again for Lake and for Klamath counties. We see, saw the same thing yesterday. Highs tomorrow, 60s and 70s. So we are going to be dealing uh, with a mild day tomorrow. And again on Saturday, but we get back into the 60s on Sunday and pretty decent amount of cloud cover uh, and rain possible Sunday through Thursday. That's a look at your local alert weather.